Welcome guys to my YouTube channel Cash Tech. Uh, our today's topic is how you, you can read and understand single line diagram or read meeting diagram of substation. Uh, other diagrams are more or less same. So first of all I will open up the single line diagram. So this uh, rain meeting diagram is look like this. Okay, first of all, why it is called a single line diagram? Uh, there is a history about this one is because you know all in substation and generators are three phase. So if you sh uh, show all three phases here and all three arresters, actually these are three phases, not one phase, but all three phases are shown through a single line. So the name came up. Uh, single line diagram in this diagram uh, the primary all the primary equipment is shown at higher level and the protection stalled and metering stall is shown plus the capacity of bus bar short circuit level of the bus bar such details are shown here you can see you will find symbols A for ammeters, B for voltmeters and so on on the right side. These are the symbol and then further you can see the legions, transformer, circuit breaker, disconnector switch and, and so on. So we will if you if you want to know about something symbols, legions you can just read from here. So this is very simple single line diagram of a substation which has one set to kV line and one step down transformer from 130 to 11 kV and this and then 11 kV you this is this is in comma and it is feeding some outgoing feeders now we will start I will ex start explaining you about a single line diagram from 132 to kV level so here you can see this 132 to kV uh, switch gear the dotted line is showing that this is all 132 kV switch gear which is a 132 kV GIS I will now zoom in here you can see further this is 132 kV cable feeder this is this specific thing is the cable ceiling uh, you can say GIB type in the uh, this cable is coming inside the GIS room so let us see what is it the symbol is shown here this is cable ceiling and Z2 so cable is okay and then uh, uh, you can see here that uh, this is a surge arrestor uh, the line is 132 kV such a is is connected here further you will see a uh, 40 kilo ampere short circuit rating R switch this is motorized R switch which is normally high speed R switch then you will further see a uh, VT this VT has a one primary core and two secondary cores okay and this is connected through a VT link this is a link uh, this link can be operated when the line is de-energized so first of all it is an offload device and then you can see the links description here this is isolated link if sometime motor is connected to this link and sometime is not Sometimes the control is giving to LCC and sometimes it's not. So it's all depend upon your detailed design. Further, you can see another isolator and R switch which is more priced. Then you can see further uh, current transformer CT. And how many cores are shown here? One, two, three, four. Four cores are shown here in this CT. So C class point two is a metering which is connected to digital power meter and then voltage voltmeter similarly it can further be connected to metering uh, three 
cores okay one core is connected to bus power protection the second is connected to cell relay the third one is connected to again cell relay but distance and uh, you can see p2 is towards line and p1 is towards bus okay then you have another isolator okay uh, this is also oh, this is a breaker q0 this is the breaker symbol if i little bit zoom in more so you will find cross here cross means breaker and here you will not find cross this is isolator symbol very small difference in it then you have another isolator this is isolator is called bus power isolator because it is connected to bus and this isolator we can name it as a line isolator because it is connected to line this is the high speed line earth switch this cause this earth switch is grounding the line and this earth switch is basically maintenance earth switch if you want to do this uh, wing will be grounded so this ground at the result the breaker will be grounded and you can do the maintenance on the breaker uh, for this and the bus bar is 132 kV 2500 ampere is continuous rating 40 kilo ampere is the short circuit rating for 3 seconds if you uh, I will give you a hint here if for 2 seconds it will not be 40 it will be more than 40 k there is a curve for this 50 hertz of the frequency and this is a three phase bus bar the feeder name is E01 this is uh, you can see here is a this one Q52 is a bus bar a switch so if you want to do maintenance or some work on it you have to ground it so bus will be grounded this is bus bar VT T15 and uh, here you can find uh, uh, two cores are metering and one core is protection this all depend upon your ordering and the symbol they are using is T15 here okay and then we will go down so this is 132 kV bus bar and then we have a transformer here which is step downing so again you can see this is a bus isolator and then this is a breaker similarly you will find here the uh, CTs and number of cores and where they are connected so this is the similar similarly as as i explain you same way you can find the different productions connected uh, this one is again they have connected another ct and this is after the breaker again and metering is connected here there are two metering one is main metering another is backup metering and also you can see VT for metering you need CT and VT so VT is connected here and CT is connected here okay after that you will find another isolated earth switch this is another uh, line earth switch you can see it and then the lighting arrester so further okay this is this is symbol you can see is SFX to air bushing so practically from the GIS building this bushing is coming out and it is then it is further connected to the transformer there is a small CT shown here this transformer is a Delta star transformer and it is connected to NGR neutral grounding resistance a small relay is connected here uh, uh, overcurrent relay cell is connected on auto protecting or to give alarm if some fault came on NGR depend upon the settings again it's a lighting arrester this um, um, this circle is showing the capacity of the cable this is triple uh, triplet cable three three core cable and each is 1000 uh, MCM the cable size okay so again when I will zoom it out a little bit I can see this is 11 kV metal clad switch gear from this point onward it is 11 kV, uh, KV metal clad switch gear and and this is cable with termination so this is the cable with termination 
and this is the cable ceiling and there is a difference between these two items so I will let you to find the answer what is the difference okay so then you will see here uh, um, there is a CT and it is feeding this is CT is installed at Incava the main breaker which is feeding the 11 kV bus bar we are typically naming is it as an incomer this is the breaker and you can wreck it out wreck it in this is that type of a breaker 11 kV system and this is the VT at 11 kV feeding the energy meter power meter and this is the orc and earthfall production relay further we can see the feeder name is k5 the incomer is k5 and how many are doing we have we have k1 k2 k3 k4 and one feeder is k1 k1 is uh, going to 11 kv capacitor bring 7.2 mvar this is to improve the power factor of the network or the system because if power factor is low the capacity of generator is utilized without any real purpose, real use and power factor penalty can be imposed depending upon your distribution of power policies. These are two outgoing features which will supply the load where you will connect the load. Here you can see an auxiliary transformer. This transformer is basically giving AC supply to the substation, auxiliary supply to substation. So this is the overall preview of uh, this uh, SLD here you can find this is 11 kV and full time rating is 3000 ampere short circuit rating is 25 kilo ampere for 30 seconds 50 hertz 3 phase bus bar ok so uh, in this uh, video we have seen how we can read the single line diagram and what is the purpose of single line diagram and it is giving you an overview that how the single line is working um, I will give you further little bit tips here that what will be the sequence of operation if you want to energize the line the sequence of operation will be first you have to uh, open the earth on the line open all earth this earth this earth q9 q8 and then further the uh, q51 all the earth should be removed from the line from the bus q52 vt should be in so this link should be closed this also vt link should be closed Similarly, ice, all isolator has to be in open position of the complete station, including the line. Arts should be open, breaker should be open. Okay, the process uh, the process will be after you make sure that MVD should be in. So the prerequisites are met. Then you have to close you, you have to close the isolator first. You will close the line isolator first. Then you will close the bus isolator. Line isolator is Q9. And then it's Q50, Q1 is the bus isolator. The voltage will come from line up to after you close the is, uh, line isolator with the breaker. So uh, after this, you can close the breaker to energize the bus bar. So the voltage will appear up to the bus, and you can take the reading on the measurement and the production delays. You can check the readings of voltmeter and check the phase sequence, and then further in the same way. You have to close the isolators here first because isolators are no load device. You cannot close or open the isolators on load. And then you have to close the breaker to further energize the transformer. Here again, you have to first rake in the incomer and then you can close it to energize the incomer. And similarly, you will energize the outgoing features. So this is the video, today's video and in which we discuss how you can read the single line or diagrams or the rail meeting SLDs. So I'm all this I'm open for the suggestions. If you need a specific video I can make it for the for my 
audiences thank you very much and please subscribe to my channel hashtag